हेलो एवरी वन होप यू ऑल आर फाइन टूडे ऑन अ बिहाफ ऑफ सी सी टी वी डेस्क वी कम अप विथ न्यू वीडियो दिस वीडियो इज ऑल अबाउट अ एंड्रॉयड टी वी टूडे वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट अ ऐप ऑफ हाई फोकस नेम एज फिलोसिटी एच डी और एच एफ फिलोसिटी सो बेसिकली इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू वर्ड इज फिलोसिटी ऐप फॉर एंड्रॉयड टी वी वर आर वाट आर इट्स फीचर एंड फंक्शन देन विल टेल यू हाउ यू डाउनलोड इंस्टॉल दिस ऐप ऑन यूर एंड्रॉयड टी वी and how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature so keep watching till end please like share our video and subscribe to our channel so let us start what is velocity app for android basically it is it is a app which is used to connect as well as control the cctv camera on your android tv this is also used to monitor the cctv cameras on your Android TV. It is also used to monitor the cameras on remote locations over the internet. The main purpose of this app is that by using this app, you are able to access live view of the camera. Not only the live view of the camera, but you can see the multiple channel at time. You watch the recording of the cameras. You take the snapshot of the video. You take the, you control the PTZ camera. Means you are able to pan, tilt, and zoom. You save the live view of the camera. You can adjust the image parameter like brightness, color, etc. You take the backup of the recorded videos, and many more. Now let's comes on the screen. The first thing you should do on your screen that you should search for open Google Play and search for file manager. Okay. Now here you should search for. file manager okay on the top of the list you find this one just open it and install it i already installed that's why it is it is saying open okay after installing this app what i should do i should download two files set orientations and hf velocity apk files in my pen drive how you download where you did just google it you find both i will give the link of that in my description also okay now just inject pen drive on android tv and also the optical mouse when i in insert pen drive it will directly open the file manager here is my drive here you should find the two app like set orientation and hf velocity now after that the first thing you should do you should click on the setting app and go to the device preferences and here you should click on security and restriction and after that you should enable this verify apps and also the unknown sources okay now after that you should again open your pen drive open file manager and open the your pen drive and you should install the set orientation file first what it should do it should always open app in a landscape mode i already installed that's why it's saying like do you install an update just click install when it is installed you should open this app and select the landscape mode and press okay now it will do that it will open all the app in the landscape mode now after that you should turn hf velocity app just click on that double click on that and first it is staging and click install now it is installing it's take time let the installation to be finished then we'll tell you that how you configure the app to make the camera live and able to access all its feature now it is installed just click open and we'll tell you that how you to configure okay just click agree okay 
and allow and click allow just click escape and click start okay or click local when you click start it will directly go to the page where you want to add the device okay here you can select the serial number and ip domain it is by default serial number now where you find its serial number when you log in your device like dvr nvr and go to the network option and in the network option just enable net when you enable net you find the qr code and just below the qr code you find the serial number now you should enter that serial number here it may be like and 07b326 like this this one or like n72 like is it start from 12 character okay and you should enter that serial number and here you should use username and password and when you click on the ip domain you should enter your local ip address so that you have access only in your premises when you connect with the wi-fi when you click on the serial number you can access from anywhere that is the main difference now you can also access anywhere by using a static ip like in my case i have a static ip so i should enter a static ip here click enter and after that you find port number by default port number is 80 and if you have any other port number just log in your device and go to the network option over that you should find a uh, port number okay and you can put device name anything like which you can easily remember for example if you are adding a home camera just put a home camera or office fab camera or factory anyone whatever you want i leave it just just device name one and click enter and after that it asks for a username and password just enter my username please don't be confused it is the username and the password of the device device means dvr nvr IP cam whatever you are adding now click password here you should enter password of the device device means again DVR NVR or IP cam whatever you are adding and press enter okay now here just click on here you should click on last which is height in go to live view when you go, go click on the live view at the last you find the camera comes live and just double click on the any cam 
and you find the camera is seeing on the interface now just click on this single click on the screen you find the multiple option here you find the multi view view just click on that here you find the multi view option now click on this but this button it it is for that two way communication if your device is two way communicated you click on this and if your camera is audio enabled just click on here you are able to hear the voice of from the camera and again single click here you like fish like option this is for the fish eye camera you can take the fish eye option all the thing from you can do here okay just close it and again single click on this screen and here you find the i like symbol just click on that it is for super definitions when you click on the super definitions your camera become more clearer but it will let smoother okay again single click here you find ptz option here you find screenshot just click where you are able to screenshot and if you want to record the video you can also do the by clicking here when you click here that is start recording again click here in this way you can check the save the live view live recording of the camera again single click on the screen and go to this button like option this is for recording just click on that and here you are able to see the recording of the camera okay here you select the camera and you can access all the thing from here like this one like you scroll down you can read the recording of 8 am 8:45 am okay again single click it here you change the date time and you can access all the thing from here like fast forward play all the option so that's all about this video when you adding is second time just close the app and again open the app here is the app just open the app just click open here you can see switch the device if you are able to switch between the devices so in this way you can use this app if you are installing the latest version then all the thing you to you should log in it first so that's all about this video thanks for watching thank you have a nice day